The Rothschild family story begins in the crowded Jewish ghetto of 18th century Frankfurt. Meyer Amschel Rothschild was born in 1744, his surname meaning Red Shield in German. Orphaned young, Meyer was raised by relatives and received a traditional Jewish education. However, his ambitions extended beyond religious scholarship. He apprenticed at a banking firm in Hanover, learning money lending, currency exchange and international trade. Returning to Frankfurt, Mayer began trading in rare coins and antiquities. His keen eye for value and growing network of contacts helped him establish a reputation for honesty and reliability. This reputation attracted wealthy clients including Prince William of Hesse Kassel. Managing the prince's investments with exceptional skill, Mayer solidified his standing in European finance. This marked the beginning of the Rothschild family's ascent to financial power. From humble beginnings, Mayer's financial acumen laid the foundation for a dynasty. Meyer Rothschild's financial activities extended beyond managing the Prince of hesse kassels wealth. He recognized the growing importance of credit and international finance in a rapidly changing Europe. The Napoleonic Wars created an unprecedented demand for capital. Rothschild positioned himself as a key player in wartime finance facilitating payments and providing loans. His international network of agents, often family members, allowed him to move money and information faster than competitors. Mayer's five sons, Amschel, Salomon, Nathan, Carl and James, expanded the family business across Europe. Each son was dispatched to a different European capital, establishing a truly international banking network. Europe in the early 19th century was dangerous with political upheaval and economic uncertainty. Yet the Rothschilds thrived, understanding that risk and opportunity were two sides of the same coin. Their sophisticated understanding of political and economic trends allowed them to reap substantial rewards. The Rothschilds' success stemmed from their mastery of currency exchange and credit. In an era before standardized currencies, exchange rates fluctuated wildly. The Rothschilds excelled at exploiting these discrepancies for profit. Their credit operations involved providing loans to governments and large institutions, giving them significant leverage. Unlike traditional banks, the Rothschilds operated as a unified family business. This familial bond fostered trust and loyalty, crucial in an era of slow communication. The Rothschild brothers communicated through coded letters and messengers, sharing market conditions and investment opportunities. This constant flow of intelligence allowed them to act in concert, coordinating their activities across borders. Their unique organizational structure maximized their collective profits. The Rothschild brothers following their father's vision, fanned out across Europe. Amschel remained in Frankfurt, managing the family's original bank. Salomon established himself in Vienna, cultivating ties with the Austrian court. Nathan moved to London, quickly becoming a major player in global finance. Karl navigated the complex world of Italian politics in Naples. James established the Rothschild Bank in Paris, becoming a prominent figure in French finance. Each Rothschild cultivated a deep understanding of their adopted countries, building relationships with leading politicians and industrialists. This deep integration gave them invaluable insights and access to privileged information. The Rothschild's success was due to their unique way of doing business. They operated as a unified financial entity, pooling resources and coordinating activities across borders. This approach allowed them to diversify risks and mobilize capital on an unmatched scale. Their international reach provided unparalleled access to information. The Rothschild's intelligence network gave them up-to-date information on market trends and political developments. This allowed them to anticipate events and make decisions ahead of their rivals. Their unified approach combined with financial acumen propelled them to the pinnacle of European finance. They became the bankers to kings, emperors and governments. Their names became synonymous with wealth, power and influence. The Rothschilds' wealth and influence extended far beyond finance. They became major landowners, art collectors and philanthropists. Their homes became centers of social and intellectual life. The Rothschilds supported hospitals, orphanages, educational institutions and Jewish charities. Their philanthropy left an enduring mark on their communities. Despite criticism and anti-Semitic conspiracy theories, their legacy endures. They pioneered new financial techniques and demonstrated the power of a unified family enterprise. Their story continues to fascinate and inspire, a testament to ambition, 
innovation, and family unity.